everybody. Really glad to see you all again. Yes, today we will access whatever we studied in Chapter 3 of Geography, Motions of the Earth. Let's know few new terms used in this chapter. Orbit. Orbit is a part of the Earth's revolution around the Sun. The path which the Earth follows to orbit around the Sun is elliptical in shape. Ferulean. Ferulean is the point in the orbit of the Earth where it is nearest to the Sun. That means, at the point of Ferulean, the Earth is nearest to the Sun. Aphelion. Aphelion is the point in the orbit of the Earth where it is farthest to the Sun. That means, Aphelion is the point in the elliptical orbit of the Earth where the Earth is farthest to the Sun. Solstice. The time when the sun is directly above the Tropic of Cancer or Tropic of Capricorn, it's known as solstice. Equinox. Equinox is the time when the sun is directly above the equator. Seasons. The full period into which the air is divided by the solstice and equinox are termed as seasons. There are four main seasons that are spring, summer, autumn and winter. Leap year. A year which has 366 days is known as leap year. Let's see what all we know by reading the fill in the blanks. It says the earth's orbit around the sun is elliptical in shape. Next, the spinning of the earth on its own axis is called rotation. A leap year has 366 days. Let's see which of these statements are true or false. The gravitational force is the pulling force of the earth? Yes, true. It is a gravitational force that pulls the force of the earth. The angle of inclination of the earth to its perpendicular plane is 23 and a half degree? No, this one is false. The angle of inclination of the earth to its perpendicular plane is 23 and a half degree. Next, when it is summer in the northern hemisphere, it is winter in the southern hemisphere? Yes, this is true. This is because of the tilted nature of the earth's axis. Now, let's answer a few of the questions. Number 1. Which are the two main motions of the earth? So, the two main motions of the earth are rotation and revolution. Rotation, the spinning of the earth around its own axis from west to east is known as rotation. While when the movement of the earth around the sun is called revolution. Next, how are days and night caused? Days and night are caused by the rotation of the earth. As the earth is spherical, only one side of the earth can face the sun at a point of time. The side of the earth that faces the sun, it experiences day. And the side of the earth that is away from the sun experiences night. Next, what will happen if the earth fails to rotate? It will be a disastrous if the earth fails to rotate. Because the side of the earth facing the sun will always be lighted while the other side will always remain dark. Then the lighted side of the earth will become extremely hot and the dark side will be freezing cold. Even the life forms would not be able to exist in such extreme conditions. Also, the patterns of tides, ocean currents, and wind systems would be very different from what they are now. Next question. What is the angle of inclination of the Earth's axis with its orbital plane? What is its effect? So, the angle of inclination of the Earth's axis with the perpendicular to the orbital plane in the North Pole and the South Pole is 23 and a half degree. While if we say the same thing in another words, the angle of inclination of the earth with its orbital plane is 66 and a half degree. 
What is orbital plane? Orbital plane is the elliptical path of the earth around the sun. The tilt of this earth, it causes varying length of days and nights and also changing seasons. Now, why do we have seasons? The axis of the earth is inclined at an angle of 23 and a half degree with the perpendicular of the orbital plane. Due to its revolution around the sun, the earth faces the sun in different position leading to differential heating of the latitudes. When the tilt in the axis is combined with the revolution of the earth, we get the changing seasons. Now, why do we have different seasons? We have different seasons due to the following reasons. First of all, the axis of the earth is inclined at an angle of 23 and a half degree with the perpendicular of the orbital plane. And due to this inclined nature of the earth's axis, we have different seasons. Also, during the revolution of the earth around the sun, the earth faces the sun in different position leading to the differential heating of the latitude. So, when the tilt in the axis is combined with the revolution of the earth, we get the changing seasons. Next, during which season is Christmas celebrated in New Zealand? So, New Zealand is in the Southern Hemisphere. Christmas, which falls in December, is celebrated during summer season in New Zealand. Next, distinguish between summer solstice and winter solstice. Let's discuss first about summer solstice. June 21st is the summer solstice in the northern hemisphere. The sun's rays fall vertically on the Tropic of Cancer at this time. This is the longest day in the northern hemisphere. While December 22nd is the summer solstice in the southern hemisphere. The sun's rays fall vertically on the Tropic of Capricorn. It is the longest day in the southern hemisphere. Winter solstice June 21st is the winter solstice in the southern hemisphere. The sun's rays fall vertically on the Tropic of Cancer. It is the shortest day in the southern hemisphere. While December 22nd is the winter solstice in the northern hemisphere. The sun's rays fall vertically on Tropic of Capricorn. It is the shortest day in the northern hemisphere. What is an equinox? On 21st March, and 23rd September, the sun shines vertically over the equator. These days are known as equinoxes. On these days, maximum heat and light is received at the equator. Next, what is a leap year? So, the earth actually takes 365 days and 6 hours to complete one revolution around the sun. For our convenience, we only take 365 days as calendar years. The extra 6 hours of a year are added to February every 4 years. And the year which has 366 days is known as leap year. This was all for today's video. Feel free to ask your queries in the comment section. Happy learning!